All right, welcome to the Clemson Indoor Practice Facility. If you can't tell, we're all happy today because it's the <laughs> final Tuesday. Our grind is over. Mondays, Tuesdays, spending five or six hours in here every week. So we're all in a great mood. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely in a good mood. I woke up in a great mood. Um, we're going to talk about Dabo's press conference, and we only got one player today, Tanner Muse. So, Joanne, we're going to do ladies first and let you talk about something you heard Dabo talk about today. Um, well, today in Dabo's press conference, it was announced that there is a new internal award for Clemson football, and it is the Timberay Award. And I don't think there is anybody in Clemson athletics or Clemson information that deserves an award more than Timberay does. I mean, personally, I have to give Timberay credit for the start of my career and where I am today. And I know there's many people that can say the same. I mean, he is just, he's unlike any other. I mean, when I was little, just, you know, hearing the things my dad talked about while he was here and how he would talk stats with Timberay on the plane to football. So you're saying Tim's old? Uh, just, I'm not saying that. That's, that's your words, not mine, everybody. <laughs> Um, and I mean, just seeing his tweets, it's like, where, where does he get this stuff from? I mean, he is just so unique. Um, and to explain what the award is, it is for um, a third people, the media will vote, the other third is coaches, and then the other third is the SID on the football player that, think, that represents them um, the best in media. So, and I think it's exciting that we get a vote. We can actually get, you know, some voice. So We get one third exciting. of the vote. All right. <laughs> I kind of feel like Dabo and... Ross together probably going to kind of pick the winner but yeah, and by the way we give that but Ross give Ross Taylor credit it, he came to Ross's idea he came to Dabo with the idea and said they needed to do this and so great idea for Ross so shout out to him on that um yeah for me I, th I thought it was interesting and in, in I have a story on the website about this um you walk into the weight room we haven't seen this all year so we go through the weight room to get to Dabo's press conference every Tuesday and all year it's just they've had the uh, what do you call those things hurdles up in front of us I don't know what they use them for they use them for power hour for something you should see Will going over the hurdle yeah so but but anyway today though we walk in um, after the press conference and you walk through the door that the players walk through after they come out of the train room and all that stuff or the locker room and come in to work out there's a there's a, like a I don't know what you call that equipment box or whatever and they've put uh, championship week and they put the pit helmet on top. They haven't done that all year, not all year. And that, no doubt, was a reminder to 2016. And the reason it's in the weight room is because fourth and one, Clemson had an opportunity to win that football game two years ago. And the undefeated season didn't happen because they weren't tough enough to get that one yard. And that's what that helmet that's what an example of it. For it's Will's interpretation, but I think he's probably spot on. Yeah, that's my interpretation of it, and it's sitting there, and that's to remind those players every day they walk in, fourth and one, fourth and one. Um, and so uh, there's no doubt they're going to be ready. And Dabo talked about how the seniors, this is the only team they've played in the ACC they have not beat. They're 0-1 against them. And uh, so they're using that as motivation uh, to get them ready for this, uh, this game coming up uh, this weekend. So, you know, to me it tells me everything I need to know I'm just going to be ready. For so we'll say, and we have a chance. Yeah. Um, obviously, the other big topic today, which didn't come till later in the press conference, it looked like they might cut it off at about 20 minutes, but got into a few more questions. Obviously, Dabo got some questions about the, I guess I'll call it a rant he went on on his ACC teleconference for the ACC championship where he kind of hijacked that call and went in a different direction. Um, Dabo was very calm today. He explained, you know, why appreciating winning is so important to him whether it's one point or 50 points and went through a lot of that we just put the video up on the site so hopefully you guys will have seen that before we uh, run this later today but um, thought Dabo did a good job of explaining it calmly you know there wasn't any emotion today it was just you know we're explaining the facts behind the, the statements Dabo knows he went into that teleconference with the plan to make that statement he made that statement and I think that statement was you know, maybe targeted more towards a certain person in the media than it was towards the, the fans. He said today Absolutely. that 98% of the Clemson fans are wonderful, great, says there's always 2%, no matter which team you're with, that are out there. But his, his whole point was he didn't want that thought process getting around his team. He wants his team to always appreciate winning. Obviously, when somebody writes an article like that and his team sees that, that kind of gets that in their sphere a little bit. He doesn't want that anywhere near 
Clemson. Yeah, and it was talked about, you know, in post game to the players, you know, to the defensive players, you know, about how disappointing it was and all this. And, um, you know, you could see when they were being asked the questions, they were a little disappointed because they just came out, as Dabo said, even that, you know, you know, he told the he told the players, you know, they they, they hey, you look, you're undefeated. Let's celebrate. Funds in the winning, and they did all that after the game. Didn't mention the 600 yards or any of that stuff, and um, and so you know, the players are all happy. They come in, and then they come to us, and it's like, so you guys gave up 510 yards to Jay Bentley, and you know what's wrong? What you, what you, you know? And so all of a sudden, you saw like Kendall Joseph, for example, you saw him like happy, had a smile on his face, a quick frown immediately, and I think that's where Dabo was going was that he didn't want that around the players because, hey, what is, what is this thing he said? He says, hey, look, you guys won the game today. We're going to celebrate it. We'll worry about the other stuff tomorrow, but we're going to enjoy the win now. And they are playing this week for the championship, which is what they wanted to do when the season started. So uh, we also had Tanner Muse today. He got, of course, a ton of questions about the defense and the problems and uh, did a great job. I think they had him well prepared for, for those questions today. Um, Joanne, I will ask you, uh, he did have a comment or was asked a question about some comments his mom made on Twitter. Um, well, he was, he actually said that because he received some nasty messages um, about his performance and he's like, well, I'm just going to read them to my mom as a joke and th think that she'll take it as um, being funny. And she did not as all. She was a mama bear about it. And she actually went on Twitter and was saying how, you know, you should never treat players like that. I mean, you're not the one playing. You're not the one on the field. You're not the one at practice. Um, so she did not take the tweets as being funny. And he said that he plans to take her Twitter account away, and that's the first thing he needs to do. Well, Tanner gets to go home. Uh, it's from the Charlotte area, played up there at uh, Belmont, and he'll get a chance to go home and play near home, try to win another ACC championship in Bank of America Stadium. We'll have tons of coverage all week long as we head up to the big game, after the big game. Sunday we'll have a lot of coverage as they f do the final selection for the college football playoff, and hopefully Sunday we'll be talking about where the Tigers are headed to continue their string of playoff chances and hopefully uh, we'll end up in Santa Clara but uh, stay tuned to TCI all week long for the most complete coverage of Clemson football.